hello guys welcome back to this channel this is scan city academy and in today's video we are going to solve a problem on simultaneous equations now i would like to remind you that this is something new we've started where we pick a math problem and we give detailed explanations on how to solve the problem now if you are interested in this idea feel free to like watch and share the videos to friends you can as well subscribe to this channel so that you'll be notified whenever we drop a new video so let's move ahead to solve the problem now the sum of the ages of two brothers is 38 years four years ago the age of the elder brother was the square of the younger brother's age now we are going to find their ages so this is a simple problem on simultaneous equations now let's take some key notes or key points from the question. The sum of the ages of two brothers is 38 years. And then we have the idea that there is the younger brother and the elder brother. Now let's represent the younger brother's age with the variable x. And then the elder brother's age with the variable y. So we have younger brother's age as x and then we have elder brother's age as y so from the first statement the sum of their ages is equal to 38 so we have x plus y equals 38 now let's call this equation 1 our first equation now from the second statement four years ago the age of the elder brother was the square of the younger brother's age so now let's derive their ages four years ago So four years ago, the younger brother was x minus four years. And the elder brother was y minus four years. Now, because we have the statement four years ago, it basically means that we are going to subtract 4 from the current age. So basically, the current ages of the two brothers are x and y respectively. Which means that 4 years ago, they were x minus 4 and then y minus 4 respectively. Now let's go back to the question. Now 4 years ago, the age of the elder brother was the square of the younger brother's age. Which means that... We have the statement y minus 4 which is the elder brother's age four years ago equals the square of x minus 4 so basically this is the second equation equation 2 so now what we are going to do is to make one variable the subject from any of the two equations and then we can substitute into the other equation so let's make y the subject from equation 1. So we have y equals 38 minus x. Let's call this equation 3. Now we are going to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So now we have... 38 minus x that is y minus 4 equals x minus 4 all squared so we had 38 minus x minus 4 equals x minus 4 all squared so let's simplify further now 38 minus 4 is 34 so you have 34 minus x equals 
now this basically means that you have x minus 4 times x minus 4 so we have x times x which is x squared and then we have x times negative 4 which is negative 4x we have negative 4 times x which is negative 4x and then we have negative 4 times negative 4 which is 16 so that is going to be x squared minus 8x plus 16 now let's transpose 34 minus x to the right hand side so you have x squared minus 8x now this is negative x so it's going to be plus x then we have plus 16 minus 34 which is equal to 0 so x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals 0 so now we are going to perform some factorization so basically we are going to multiply the coefficient of the x squared term by the constant so we have 1 times negative 18 which is negative 18 now factors of negative 18 we have 1 and then negative 18 we have 2 and negative 9 now when we multiply 2 and negative 9 we have negative 18 and then when we add 2 and then negative 9 we have negative 7 so basically we are going to use 2 and negative 9 so we have x squared minus 2x sorry plus 2x minus 9x minus 18 equals 0 so now let's factorize so the LCM between x squared and then 2x is x so we have x on the outside and then we have x plus 2 inside the brackets the LCM between negative 9x and negative 18 is negative 9 and then inside the bracket we have x plus 2 which is equal to 0 so we have x plus 2 and then we have x minus 9 equals 0 which means that x plus 2 equals 0 we have x is equal to negative 2 and then for x minus 9 equals 0 we have x to be equal to 9 now because we are dealing with ages we are going to ignore negative 2 okay we are going to focus on x is equal to 9 now don't forget that the younger brother's age was x so we have younger brother's age that is x equals 9 so the younger brother's age is 9 so now let's find the elder brother's age now the elder brother's age was represented with y so from equation 3 we had y equals 38 minus x and then we know that x is equal to 9 so we have 38 minus 9 which is equal to 29 which means that the elder brother is 29 years old so we have elder brother's age that is y equals 29 years so the younger brother's age is 9 years and the elder brother's age is 29 years thank you for watching if you like the content of this video feel free to like comment and share among friends don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos hope to see you in my next video bye bye